The Civil Aviation Authority, CAA, is warning tonight that a number of air shows across the UK will not go ahead this year unless organisers adopt new safety measures. An extensive safety review has been carried out by the CAA following last summer's accident at the Shoreham Air Show. Among the new safety measures demanded by the regulator are enhanced risk assessments and stricter training requirements for pilots and display directors. Well, Samantha Jones is a member of Keep Air Shows Airborne and organiser of Throckmorton Air Show in Worcestershire. She joins me now via webcam from uh, Worcester. Um, good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Is uh, your air show or any air shows that you're involved in affected by the CAA's new policy and new regulations? Yes, definitely. Um, unfortunately, with the Throckmorton Air Show, um, this particular event is, is organised for charity. So we've got Midlands Air Ambulance and the RAF Benevolent Fund for this particular year. If the CAA regulations and the charges go ahead, then unfortunately we're going to have to cancel because we just simply haven't budgeted the extra money that the CAA are asking us to pay. So what, the, the, the costs involved in making the checks that they're now demanding? Yes, indeed. Um, we, we completely appreciate that obviously the CAA are there for safety and obviously safety one is, is safety is everybody's priority and that we need to comply with the regulations. But the fact is that these charges were dropped on our toes only four weeks ago. Um, if the CAA had turned around to us last year and said Throckmorton Air Show and all the other air shows, if these charges are going to go ahead, um, we, we will implement them within the next 12 months or we might even stagger the charges. Then you must have, but, but Samantha, you must have seen the changes coming. You must have known or at least suspected that changes were ahead following that horrific air crash where there was loss of life and, and injury. You must have known things were going to tighten up. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, Shoreham was a completely tragic, tragic incident. But can I just reiterate to everybody out there that there hasn't been an incident involving a member of the public loss of life since 1952. Now, air shows are the second largest outdoor event that is attended secondary to football matches. So if you put those two things together, air shows are phenomenally safe. And even with the CAA charges or the new regulations that they've brought in, even with these new ones that they're implementing, Shoreham would still have happened. But ha hang on a minute. The CAA, in their statement, are saying enhancing the safety of air shows is essential. They use the word essential. And events that do not comply with the safety measures that have been introduced simply will not go ahead. They're not messing about here. They clearly think after their review, safety measures are needed post-Shoreham. Yeah, I, I completely agree. But like I've just mentioned, even in the in the new review that they have released, um, you know, everybody is back in the fact that safety is the number one priority. And I'm not um, denying that whatsoever. What I'm saying is the charges and um, the way that they've gone about it. That's what everybody's kicking up the fuss about, not the fact that we're questioning the, the um, safety side of things whatsoever. Samantha, thanks for your time tonight. Samantha Jones there. Thank you.